Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. I'm on my way to a shoot now with Todd's, um, for like a social activation thing, and True's with me because he's my photographer. But I have a photographer there already, but I've asked if True can come because I wanna do like a week in the life, a behind the scenes in the life, kind of come to me with work sort of vlog. So I feel like this is gonna be it, because this week I have a couple of campaigns that I'm shooting, and I thought it'd be quite fun to document that. So now I'm on my way to the Mondrian Hotel in Shoreditch because that's where the shoot's gonna be so I thought I'd bring you guys along with me. This is my photographer with his backpack and his new gear. He's very excited because he's got a new camera. So he's gonna be using that today. How do you feel, True? A little bit nervous. Why? It's my first gig. <laughs> no, is it? <laughs> do you know what we're doing? Yeah, so we're gonna be shooting some Todd's looks. Um, I think it's FS22. What are you doing right now, Nuri? So I'm just um, having a look through some of the outfits. Is this the um, spring, spring summer twenty two? Yeah. See what I want to shoot. Lots of colour. This is really cool. This with um, a green bag would look really nice. Is that a dress or a skirt? Dress. <laughs> it's really nice. I'm gonna try on some outfit options. What so you it? went for the very neutral. Oh, I like it the... is sort of out there though with the textures and shapes. Yeah, I really like But yeah, dress. sticking to that neutral. Yeah. So this is option one. Yeah, it's very holiday vibes. I really like so this um, dress, the way it falls, like the pleats. I think I might shoot that one because I really like... I'm going to shoot this and I think this one is... Yeah, this is... So a... I, think, I think I'm just going to go for this one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, so these are the mirrors. Okay. alien vibes. I feel like standing, standing up in this dress, but we have to be at an angle where you can see the How was your shoot? It was really good. It was very quick. Very quick. We had a brilliant photographer with us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're going to go and get ready now. What are you doing now? Going through the images to pick some selects. How was the shoot, Nuri? It's really nice, really fun, really quick, really efficient. Yeah, I managed to get some shots as well with my new lens. No idea what I'm doing, but I think they look alright. So, we just came back from Westford, which was very unsuccessful. I wanted to have a look at some of the places like Cos and Arquette to see if there's anything for Paris Fashion Week. I didn't really find anything. Um, I'm home now. True's going to go off to play tennis. And what am I going to do? I'll be honest, I'm just going to sit in front of the TV, probably reply to some emails. I have to be honest about that. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Yeah, so I think I'm just gonna watch some TV and reply to some emails. So we'll probably see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow we have an exciting day at Bista Village. So we are currently on our way to Bista Village to shoot a campaign. And Nuri's just getting ready in the car. Also, like, oh, we love Bista Village so much. Like, we did a vlog in Vlogmas. Yeah. Going there, and now are they working with us. Crazy. So I don't know exactly what we're doing. Um, I think it's like a VIP personal shopping thing. Right? So the whole thing is about personal shopping, yeah. What does that mean? Like Sweet. someone comes with you and shops? No, so someone picks out stuff for, for you. you, yeah. Oh, so you don't have to even leave the room? Yeah, so you don't have to go and do all the legwork. Oh, I should do my um, calm my eyelashes now while it's not moving. It's very tricky to do your... Wait, let me know if you're going to move because this could potentially rip yeah. my eyes out. So yeah, I think we're going to get there and then they're going to do the personal shopping thing and then we'll probably shoot the content so that we're basically advertising the personal shopping experience. Oh, and I get... They're going to give me a discount code which means anyone who goes to Mr. Village can get 10% off. Yeah. There'll be like terms and conditions but... Um, I'll leave the information... This is not sponsored, like this vlog is not part of the work but... I thought I'd vlog the day because I feel like um, I, lo I love vlogging Mr. Village because I feel like it's content that a lot of people like because it's obviously luxury outlet shopping. Um, so I'll leave my discount code here as well if I have it. Oh, if I have my discount code by the time this vlog goes live, I'll um, link it in the description. We're at Mr. Village, the apartment, um, and this is the personal styling suite, I think. It's really nice. This, I feel like I need this for Paris Fashion Week. Or yeah, I it's, it's, it's a moment. But it's a, it's it's a, a moment. moment. It's a and moment. I love that you can layer with it. The beauty of this, and mm -hmm. this is why I love this job so much, is that reaction. Yeah. You can't put a price on that. Yeah. And you know, it can be an industry insider, an expert, but you know that, you know, there, is some, there are some things in here that you, you would have just you know, yeah, gone past. Literally yeah. gone past, be like, oh, hell no. Yeah. Here we are. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! Bob! 
It's so iconic. Oh my god. If it's that wow. doesn't scream Paris Fashion Week, I don't know what does. That, that is sick. Blood. I feel like this is like something that would be on the runway though. Like, they're gonna be like, she's supposed to be on the show no. or? I love it because you, you're so right, Googie. You can dress that down. Yeah, because we, we lifted this up, but you could- I look, could have it down. Yeah. So like, like you can create full on yeah. looking glamour, but put a full length sleeve under yeah. that, some boots. Like a turtleneck. Yeah. Oh, isn't it? yeah. I love like not, me not having to pick up my own outfit. How cool is this suit? I'm having so much fun, guys. Oh, that's Honestly, amazing. it's trying on things that I wouldn't usually pick out, um, and it's perfect timing for Fashion Week. And this suit is amazing. Yeah. What brand is that? Uh, Jill Sando, yeah. So, was that pink dress? What do you think about this outfit? So cool. The cape is just a moment. And it's like a duvet, so it's really warm. I'm practical, but very stylish. It's leather. Yeah, it's a leather dress by Armani. And then these Aquazura boots, which I think I need to get because I need a white pair of boots. A sleeve like that's quite good for like that London, like yeah. sticky weather, not really sure what yeah. it's doing kind of. Yeah, so you can definitely like pull sleeves down if you get a bit cold. How We're was done. it? It was so good. Honestly, I was a bit nervous before going in because like having someone pick out pieces for you can be quite daunting because like I know exactly what I like. And like even True finds it hard to pick stuff for me. Um, but it was so, so good. Like I have pieces that I would never like really pick out from a royal. But like seeing them on their own is, I just, I had so much fun. Which one do you think you're gonna go for? Well, I really, so I like the jumpsuit for like casual. Cause yeah. I don't have anything like that and I think it's quite nice. And I like the pink dress for fashion week and the black blazer suit thing. I really like the cape. Yeah, the cape was really cool as well. I basically want all of it. So yeah, yeah we'll see. <laughs> These are the Jill Sander trousers. They're, I love this detail here. The length is good. Yeah, the length is like really good. Could this be the replacement of your Sunday bag? Really like this detail here. I'm so happy I found the perfect white pair of trousers. I love their like layer. Yeah, so Bristol Village have new collections as well now. In selected stores. I think Jill Sander is very much about tailoring and like the structure. Like, look at this dress. It's beautiful. Yeah. Like, I love this. Be very flattering on. I really want one of these bags. That's watermelon. What's this one? Kiwi. Kiwi. Yeah, kiwi. I really like the shape of this bag. This is the puzzle bag in green sequins. So we're in the car now. We just finished off our shop. It was really successful and I managed to pick up some really cute pieces. But anyway, I want to show you these amazing pastries we got from Matreshu. Um, butchered that, but practicing my French for Paris next week. Um, I got the coffee and True got the pistachio and I'm going to have that as a snack. Uh, the sun is setting right now, it's super bright. Um, and we have a long journey home, about an hour and a half until we get home. So I'm going to have this dessert and just sit and talk to True. <laughs> How was your shopping day, True? Yeah, this is the first time I've been to Best of Village and I'm not getting anything. Yeah, he normally always finds stuff. So I really want to use a personal shopping thing, but for me... Yeah, you should. I think you should actually try that, Drew. It'll yeah. be really interesting. We're gonna have this now and head home. Ooh, this is very close. Hey guys, I thought I would come and show you what I picked up from Bista Village. So basically this vlog was supposed to be like a come with me to work behind the scenes of a couple of days of work in my life um but i'm not sure how it actually went like in terms of the vlogging because it's quite hard to remember to vlog and then also actually do the work we need to do but anyway i thought i'd come up and show you guys what i picked up from Bista village my hair's not done by the way i've just come out of the shower and done my makeup so i haven't straightened my hair so this is it it is natural messy form i'm really happy with the pieces i got and the personal shopping experience was so so good because i got to try on pieces that i wouldn't normally go for and like I have a jumpsuit which I would, if I saw on the rail, I would never pick out to try. But because the personal shopper picked it out for me, I thought I'd try it and give it a go. And I ended up purchasing it. So this is a jumpsuit. It's this khaki jumpsuit. I'm gonna try it on to show you guys. Um, from a brand called Eleventy, which is an Italian brand. And I think they mostly do like denim pieces. So this is kind of like that cargo-y denim material. And it's in this khaki color. And I just thought I could style this in lots of different ways. Like it could be very easy dressed up with some heels, but then equally I could style it with trainers. 
for a very casual look and then put a coat over it. Um, so yeah, I tried this one on because the personal shop picked it up for me and I was really happy with it. The price for this was around 300, 380 or 390 pounds. Um, for this, I'm not sure what the original price was, but yeah, 390 pounds for this one. Okay, so this is the jumpsuit on. Um, I feel like it's still gonna take me some getting used to, but I do really like it because I feel like it's just a really versatile piece. Because it's a jumpsuit, obviously, you don't have to worry about the top or the bottom. It's all one piece, so you just have to accessorize. So I've accessorized it with my Mango Mules um, and then my Fendi first bag, just to kind of break it up with the colors. And I feel like this brown works really nicely with the khaki and then the mules kind of just elongate your legs. And I feel like to make it a little bit more feminine and a little bit more appropriate for my style, I like having this heel. I also like that it has this waist belt because then it really allows you to kind of cinch it in and give you a little bit more shape. I feel like that's really essential with a jumpsuit to have like a belt just to kind of separate the two. I picked up some boots from Aquazura. These are actually my first pair of Aquazura shoes. So I don't know what the actual original price of it. I might Google the original price and I can put it on screen. Um, Cause it's always interesting to know. But I paid just under 300 pound for these. Again, I'll put the exact price on the screen because I don't remember off my head. These are the boots. So I recently have been living in my boots that I got from Naked Fashion the square toe white boots, just because I feel like white boots are one of those pieces in my wardrobe that I was missing. And as soon as I got, I realized how many outfits I could wear because I had those white boots, if that makes sense. So again, this is another piece that my personal shopper picked out. And I thought it was a great kind of better quality piece to replace my naked ones. I'm still gonna wear my naked ones, but they're not made out of leather and they're not in the greatest material. Um, and I wear them so much, so I thought it'd be worth getting a pair that are actually made out of leather. So yeah, it's gonna probably last me a very long time. And the toe is really nice because it's like a tapered toe with a little bit of a square finishing, a rounded square at the front, but not too square. Um, and the heel height is like a perfect heel height, not like that high at all. And very comfortable. So this is another thing that my personal shopper picked out for me and I was like, yeah, I definitely need them. And for under 300 pounds for a pair of designer boots, I thought that was a bargain. And I love the little pineapple they put underneath. The little pineapple, that's like a detail for Akazura. And I got these in a 38 and a half. So I'm usually a 39, but these boots come up a little bit big. So 30 and a half was perfect. Okay, and then next up, some pieces from Jill Sander. So these are actually my first ever pieces I picked up from Jill Sander. I've known of the brand and I've heard of the brand and I've seen the brand, but I've never actually like tried anything on from the brand or actually no, I did last time I went to Bista Village, but that wasn't a very successful shop. My personal shopper picked out like this dress from Jill Sander and like some other pieces and I thought, you know what? Jill Sander has some really cool pieces. So after my personal shopping session, we I went to the store and I found two pairs of trousers. Now for me, when I find like a good pair of trousers, it's so important for me because I find it really hard to find nice fitting trousers for my body type. I have really wide hips and a big bum in proportion to my waist. Um, so yeah, I tried these on and I was so happy. You guys know how much I live and love white trousers. I feel like they're definitely a staple in my wardrobe. And I wear my Sunder Bay ones a lot, but they're starting to look very worn. And I kind of just wanted a piece that was a little bit different. So like a pair of white trousers, but with a twist. And when I saw these, I fell in love. So the front of it kind of like pleats in. And then you have this belt detail at the front. Um, and so it kind of, what it does is it gives you that like slightly paper bag effect, you know, when trousers kind of tighten up at this section and then you have this bit at the top. The length of it was also perfect for me. I'm, a, I'm five foot eight and a half, five foot nine. So I really like trousers that fit me properly lengthwise. And this is 84% cotton and 16% silk, which is so amazing. And I'm definitely kind of more conscious of the materials I'm buying for my outfits because I want to buy pieces that I know are gonna last long in my wardrobe. And if I do need to kind of recycle them or give them charity shops, they're pieces that are not gonna ruin the planet. So I'm trying to not buy pieces that are full of plastic. I'm really happy with these. I absolutely love them. I asked if they had them in black because I would absolutely buy these in every color they had because it just fit me perfectly. Um, and the price for these, okay, so I bought them for 307 pounds, which for me, I know is like worth it cost per wear because I'm gonna literally get so much wear out of these trousers. Okay, so I should have actually styled these with a contrasting top so you could actually see this detail. 
paper bag detail, but this is it overall as a look. So I was checking out with the white chargers and I was looking around while she was packing them up and I saw these brown trousers. So they're like a lot thicker, like the material definitely feels a lot thicker. It's a different material, is 100% cotton and I really like this stitching detail that goes along the side. So it's got this contrast stitching and I thought it was a really nice twist to a pair of trousers. I'm after a pair of brown trousers. I picked up a pair in mango that I didn't really like. Um, so I saw these, tried them on and I thought this would be great in my wardrobe. The quality and the tailoring of it is so amazing. Um, and these were, so I think they're, rich, they're 432 pounds and then I had a discount card. Oh yeah, so you can get a 10% discount. I have a code, but it's valid from the 1st of March and this video is going out on Sunday. So um, basically if you book a personal shopping experience, which is completely free, by the way, this is not a sponsored. I'm doing, I'm working with them on Instagram, but it's actually such a good service that I'm sharing it with you guys anyway. Um, but the personal shopping experience is absolutely free for everyone. Like it's complimentary and there's no like obligation or pressure to buy. So you, th what they do is the personal shopper will kind of set up a row for you. You have like a pre-consultation beforehand. So they kind of know what things you like, your sizes, what your body type is. Um, and then they pick out pieces based on that. And it's so, so good because they kind of bring out pieces that you typically wouldn't go for, maybe look into and you try them on and you fall in love with the brand, like the Jill Sander for me. So um, if you are interested in going to Best of Vision doing a personal shopping thing, which is completely free, you can use code Nuri Anna. I think when you're booking a personal shopping appointment and you quote Nuri Anna, what happens is then if you make any purchases that day, you can get 10% off. So I had a 10% off code that I could use when I was shopping. So these trousers already discounted were 432 pounds. And then I had my 10% discount, which made them 388 pounds. And same for the white trousers I showed you. They were 342 pounds and then I had my discount which made them 307 pounds. Okay, so these are the trousers. I really like the tailored fit of them and the color is really nice. Although in the mirror, it looks kind of black. I'll show you it here. Hopefully you can see the brown. Then you have the contrast stitching on the side. Um, and I really like the fit of these and yeah, I feel like they're just a really nice staple to have in my wardrobe. To be honest, I didn't really pick the right top to style these trousers with because it's like, really baggy, I should have put on a bodysuit, but yeah, you get the gist. So that is everything that I picked up from Bista Village. Bista Village is one of my favorite places to go, um, just because there's always so like so many different shops that pop up and the stock is always changing and you can find some really good bargains. So if you are, if you live in the UK, definitely recommend Bista Village. Um, so yeah, that's it. I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. We're going to Paris on Monday for Paris Fashion Week. So I'm thinking about doing like a pack with me video um and like a prepping for paris kind of video vlog yeah so that is it that's the end of the vlog i hope you guys did enjoy this vlog and i'll see you in the next one bye